People have lived on Earth for millions of years. Prehistory is the period of time before writing. Civilization is when the time when people progressed and moved from city to city. People began in Africa and crossed into southern Europe using language. This occurred somewhere between 700,000 years ago to 1.75 million years ago. Later, around 40,000 years ago to 15,000 years ago, they crossed into the Americas. Obtaining food. The people within the group lived and worked together and shared all they got from hunting animals and gathering berries. When food supplies grew, so did the number of people in the bands from 30 to 35 to 40 to 45. On average, most people lived up to 20 to 25 years of age. More than half of the children died from illness and were attacked by animals before their first birthday. Each band searched for food within an area known as its home territory. This usually covered about two square miles for every band member. When the food supply ran low, they moved to a different site. Women gathered berries, nuts, fruit, eggs, honey, and dug roots while men hunted animals and fish. life of hunters much easier. They made sticks and stones useful by shaping and sharpening them. The Oldovan pebble tool is one of the first tools ever. They used this tool to cut meat off the animals. They butchered animals quickly by using flakes, which are sharp edged chips from the stone. People learned to make fire during the Paleolithic age. The first fires were created by nature. They were also created by rubbing sticks together. People used fire for warmth and to keep themselves dry. They also used it for defense, cooking, purifying water, healing, medicine, to clear space and to drive animals into a trap. The people of the Paleolithic age usually camped out in the open. However, they protect themselves by digging pits or going in dry river beds. They also hid under overhanging rocks. If a bad storm came or a dangerous animal approached, they would go in a cave. skin could be used as protection or warmth. They found that putting fat into the skins makes it softer. They also learned to fasten the skins together to make outfits. Before there were clothes, people stayed in warm areas. With the invention of clothing, they could move to other places. Developing language made life easier for all of the civilizations. They could now cooperate and communicate with each other. Hand signals also became useful. They communicated with each other by pointing to objects and making sounds. They also painted rocks or caves known as cave art. The first people on earth were homo habilis, which means skillful man. Next came the homo erectus, which means man who walks upright. Then came the homo sapiens, which means man who thinks. Neanderthals were named after the Neander River in Germany. One million Neanderthals lived around 1856. They hunted by using traps and pitfalls. Pitfalls are large holes in the ground covered with grass, branches, and leaves. They were used to capture bigger animals such as elephants. They built houses made out of animal skins and animal bones. About 30 people lived in the house when it was cold. They were also the first people to bury their dead.
They were having a burial at sea because they thought he was dead. They didn't have the right equipment, so they didn't realize he was alive. Cro-Magnons are the second kind of Homo sapiens. They lived in North Africa, Asia, and Europe about 100,000 years ago. They got their name from the rock shelter in France. They were also the first modern humans. They were skillful toolmakers and artists. They invented a burn which resembles a modern day chisel. They also invented the axe. They made ornaments out of bone, ivory, and shell. They had cave paintings which had a religious meaning. They hunted in large groups. My caveman don't, my caveman don't want none unless Mr. Targus is a hun. <laughs> <laughs>